Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Sagittarius. How are you guys? Hope you're well. Sagittarius, see what the energies are around you. It's a general read. Take it how it best resonates. Sagittarius. Okay, dreams coming true. Okay, that's a nice energy. <laughs> Sagittarius. This one here wants to come out. Oh, and that one. Yeah, someone's about to take the lead. Maybe this is something you've been hoping for. And this could also be a pay raise, a higher paid position. Okay, I also see something about education. What a nice, oh yeah, I see a lot of success and growth here. So this is a beautiful energy. I love this. <laughs> I didn't expect that success and growth yeah something long term too it could be a relationship someone coming in to take the lead you got a dream coming true but it could be education higher paid but I, th what i like the best is that this is something long term okay beautiful a lot of growth here sagittarius yeah you've got an opportunity now this could be something emotional a love letter Ooh, someone's taking the lead this could even be a new home, anything. Yeah, whoops, I see, yeah, I see some financial stability, possibly partnering up. This could be a job, like a beautiful opportunity, a lot of financial prosperity here, a lot of security, very nice. Yeah, so it's an energy of investing, something you've been pay patient for is paying off. Very nice, ah, oh, sowing the seeds, beautiful. Yeah, there's the star, your hopes and dreams. So have faith, the future is bright, dreams coming through, positive changes. Yeah, look at that. So this could be something to do with a house and a home, marriage, commitment, a job. But it's definitely a stronger financial foundation as well. Yeah, two people coming together. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sag, what a nice energy, you know. The star here is interesting because it, it, this could be a dream home. You know, I see two people coming together. You've drank. This is two people drinking from each other's cup, seeing eye to eye. So there's some kind of union here. You know, this could be, you know, a, a, in a business opportunity be fr between friends. Mm, yeah, look at that. So some of you, it's going to school, going down this path. So this is something, it's the start of something new. It's at the early stages, but it's a situation that's long-term. Yeah, it's creating transformation. And I also see renewal. Yeah, some kind of renewal. Now this card is, it's not necessarily reconciliation energy. This could be just renewing a mortgage, having less money to put out uh, as well. But I feel it has to do with heading in a new direction, some kind of clarity in your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do, okay? So a little Libra energy here, possibly some Taurus, definitely money and finances, but whatever, this is the seeds well planted, the seven of pentacles, and it has to do with the timing. See, planting the seeds, whatever you've been patient for, it's going to pay off. So really nice, and you may be letting go of things that no longer serve, Okay, releasing things that no longer serve you. You may have something you need to let go of here. Okay, but it really feels like what, it, and when you do that, this is where I feel there's that shift. Let's have a look at this opportunity. Yeah, it's an energy of some kind of change. Beautiful change, uh, very prosperous. I see a lot of growth, monetary growth as well. Ooh, yeah, there is an opportunity. See, looking at this very carefully, looking at the details, being sensible about it. And it's kind of taking your time. That's what it says. You're going to know what to do. Okay, see, some kind of truth, victory, success. This could, this could even be some kind of an idea between you and a friend forming an idea that could, you know, something to do with money and finances. It doesn't have to be a love interest. It could be just a best friend, soulmate connection for some of you. Yeah, it's definitely something to do with love or doing something that you really love to do. This could be just an idea, you know, two people sharing it here. But it looks like some of you have this new path in love here. <laughs> 
Yeah, dreams. Oh, yeah, some kind of dream coming to do. Marriage, commitment, a new house, a new home, a stronger financial foundation. It's a reason to celebrate here. This could be an invitation, okay, to someone's home. There's, there's love here. Yeah, this, I feel there's two people here. For some of you, not everyone, where there's this love, this bond, this connection, I feel. Um, you may come together and buy a home, purchase a home, moving in together. But I love the fact that the Ace of Swords is right there. So, yeah, it's an energy of, uh, it, it could just be some sort of an idea, but I see truth about love, about a house, a home, uh, definitely commitment. I do see some kind of contract negotiation for some of you, but someone's coming in to take the lead. Okay, here it is. Coming in very fast out of the blue. <laughs> Very nice. Some of you could have a choice. If you, maybe there's a choice between a couple people, maybe even a couple homes, choosing the home you love. Uh, it, to me, I'm seeing dream home. Um, you know, this perfect, this beautiful relationship. I don't like to say perfect relationship. Not, you know, everything's not always perfect, but I just feel this is very solid. It's like a partnership, two people looking out for each other's best interest. See, it's, it's this energy of partnering up. This is an energy where it benefits both people. But the Eight of, of Swords is incoming, things starting to speed up. See, some kind of communication coming in. Ooh, definitely a beautiful energy, a whole new cycle. It also has to do with the timing. Someone's in a hurry. Okay, things are about to shift here. It's going to go in both people's favor, this talk. You're going to see eye to eye. Look at that. Yeah, Queen of Cups. <laughs> Yeah, lovely. There's some love here. It could be someone that you love or they're telling you that they do. But I, I definitely can see the end end of a cycle too. Some of you have been there, done that with one particular person. That's why I feel it's an energy. You could be moving on from someone or just a situation, uh, moving towards this uh, lovely new opportunity. Some of you, it's a fresh new start too. Like I say, if you've, you know, there could be several things going on. I see multiple opportunities. I definitely see a busy time ahead. You could get a little bit overwhelmed, emotionally overwhelmed. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Let's have a look at this leader energy, the lead. Yeah. See, this could be something to do with job, career, finances. See, it's an energy of building. Two people coming together to build. You could be building a home. Okay with someone here but it definitely i do see some hard work paying off someone perfecting their craft their skills you could just get a leadership possession which leads you towards your dreams see this path you're going down you know you know where you get a higher paying job it could be leading you towards owning your own home or you know marriage or commitment yeah, this transformation is, this is a significant life experience. The world is here, the wheel of fortune. So anything that hasn't gone in your favor before, okay, is finished, okay? This is the, it's energy of the wheel of fortune. I actually feel like it could even be, some of you could be selling a home and buying another home. <laughs> See communication, emails, text messages, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I do see travel. Now, somebody could be moving, relocating. It could have to do with going to school, just the start of this dream. But this is something that will bring success and growth for a long time, okay? So that's a lovely energy. But there it is. A lot of lessons being learned. I see some of you traveling, going someplace, moving in together, relocating. I love the fact that there's the lessons that have been learned. See, learning the lessons, moving forward calmly and peacefully. You're moving into calmer waters here. So, very nice. Yeah, see, oh, there's a little bit of confusion with the moon, a little cancer energy. This is some things that are kind of hidden, not yet meant to be known. <laughs> but I actually see this energy of renewal, rejuvenation. You see, let's have another look at the moon. Now, the moon is often um, secrets, mystery, confusion. Okay, and it can be fantasizing, but what I really feel is there's this change, some kind of transformation to do with the moon. Okay, so that's why I feel it's just this, this could happen during a new moon where it may kick off. It's funny how that showed up there. Yeah, whoops, let's pull out one more card. Yeah, you got someone here wanting to talk, wanting to communicate. See, this is someone who's keeping something a secret right now. 
someone is not telling you everything right now so it's a secret but i actually don't feel like this is anything bad in fact it's going to go in your favor this is often a person who's curious they want to know they want to know more about you so you could get an email to do with this somebody may be wanting to know more but i am seeing a, a libra energy some or someone with libra in their chart so i see someone often it's a secret admirer too you see somebody who's interested so whatever this is you're off on this path see it's the start of a whole new path for you see lots to be learned here see see this path heading up to this beautiful home or could be a school could be anything i just sort of see it as the golden palace <laughs> that dream yeah beautiful tell me about the prince of swords yeah this is someone here curious to see if you're single Ooh, very nice uh, looks like you got a new love interest here but this person's keeping things to themselves right now they're not saying too much so I, I feel if it is if there is somebody that you've been seeing from a distance they may be uh, wanting to come and see you keeping a little bit of a secret someone here's enjoying the fruits of their labors though yeah but i really feel some of you got a secret admirer this is my uh, curious secret admirer stranger energy yeah someone here's ready for something new this person will take the lead i feel like some of you got multiple things going on you might actually get a little emotional here okay <laughs> yeah it's very positive yeah but i feel it could be yourself too keeping things to yourself you might decide to keep it a secret to yourself just kind of keep it you know on the low down but i feel someone's going to be enjoying the fruits of their labor it's possible you may not tell um somebody or anybody for that matter it could be yourself in that energy but you know what's interesting a single person enjoying the fruits of their labor someone planning preparing ahead i feel that someone is curious about you it's a i feel they want to know if you're single okay so let's have a look at the moon yeah whoops there we go yeah see teamwork cooperation compromise things you have in common compatibility Okay, you're going this is the golden palace you're heading down this path teaming up with someone i feel this is like i it, it's connected to the sword the idea the truth someone's going to tell you the truth okay and it also i i do feel there's an energy where they could be successful or like i say they may be sharing an idea but i feel right now they're not saying too much okay yeah, they're going to take the lead though. Yeah, see, someone enjoying the fruits of their labor. This is where you're headed, okay, uh, with this person. So I I know people are going to want to know the timing. Um, I feel this is going to start pretty quick. The timing is now, okay? Doesn't mean right now, but it's very, very soon. So it, like I said, it could start with a job, moving, relocating. You could be working, collaborating with someone with some ideas here too for some of you. But I feel it's this long-term success and growth. There's a lot of growth and it really looks like there's a lot of financial growth. Could be someone just, you know, telling you, hey, I'm single, <laughs> very successful. I, you know, I've been working really hard. I, I feel that you're going to feel emotional and I actually feel like you're pretty good with this because you're looking into the future here if it's yourself. This could be another person though. Okay. You have to be yourself. Yeah. So I do see, whoops, I got two cards. Yeah. There's a, looks like there's a little competition, maybe a few obstacles in the way with a little bit of hard work. You can overcome this. Okay. But it has to do with some of this. This is someone taking the lead taking action fighting for something they want someone here's fantasizing looking at all the possibilities so this is nice it's planning preparing ahead someone's planning they're looking at the possibilities how this could all play out okay so it's definitely somebody making some kind of choice here yeah some of you could have options and choices for jobs too you know but this person this this page of swords now i don't see this energy with like this for this card often but it's the positive energy of the prince of swords so someone swears to tell the whole truth nothing but the truth but there's just not it's not what they uh, do tell you it's what they don't tell you that's so positive that's what's so interesting yeah i feel a lot of you it's just a stranger or somebody here that you don't know okay yeah and i do see some gemini i see libra 
little Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Aquarius. Yeah, lots of air, which means fast moving. And then with this fire, things start to kind of slow down just a little here with the earth. But it's like an energy of just moving forward calmly and peacefully. Somebody wants to get to know you. Now, it could be somebody here at a distance wanting to come and see you. They want to collaborate. But it has to do with the need to cooperate and compromise. So if there are any obstacles or challenge, I don't, if there is any kind of obstacles or challenge here, I feel with hard work, they can be overcome. Okay. So I, I wouldn't even worry about that. It looks more like this person taking the leads about to take action. You know, they're ready to come in and fight for it. So don't be afraid to fight for whatever it is that you want. Okay. Yeah. I feel this person. I don't know. I want to dig a little bit more into them. It's a person who's curious. They want to know if you're single. And what they not they don't tell you is what's actually positive. And I do feel it's that they're successful. They want to partner up. And it could be, like I say, for some of you, just a business situation. Um, very interesting. Now, this could be, if you do travel in the next while uh, with this energy here, you might go someplace could be shopping, you know, you might be by yourself and someone just becomes interested, you know, curious. Yeah, you could be anywhere. It's a place where people congregate, where they spend money. But what's so interesting is that's up here as well. It's like two people who want the same thing. Yeah, so it's an energy of being patient. So I see seven. Seven of Pentacles, see, being patient, seeds planted. This is both people being patient, hoping this pays off. See, it's going to require cooperation, but I do see you going down this path towards success. It's like you both want this you know, in the end here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me have a look at the, oops, I was just going to say Wheel of Fortune. There it is. You have a whole new cycle, something new, a new person. That, yeah, some of you could be moving away from another person. Uh, could be a new job, starting a new job, or it's just a new person coming in. See, look at right in the heart of the reading. Happiness, the sun shining, everything's very clear. So whatever it is you don't know is going to be made clear to you, okay? Yeah, burdens lifting. See, it says the burden's lifting, the sun is shining. Someone here may be releasing baggage, okay? Letting go of things that no longer serve. But what I feel it has to do with someone being accountable, dependable, and reliable. See, you may have ended the situation with someone you can't rely on. Some of you, definitely, there's a choice. So releasing uh, people, situations, a person that no longer serves and moving forward. But as you're releasing, things are coming in quick. So whatever it is you need to let go of, this could be moving, relocating, traveling light, okay? I'm just going down a path, but I feel like it's the other person for m most of you. Yeah. There we have some Leo. There you are. See, being strong, being confident. See, this is someone curious about you. They see you as strong, confident, and capable. Yeah, quite sexy and charming, okay? Beautiful. I do see a Leo energy. So this could be someone attracted to you. If it's not yourself, there's a Leo here. <laughs> but no, it's just an energy of the Leo energy of confident, strong, capable. See, looking on the past with kindness and compassion. It's a beautiful. This is someone who sees you as strong and confident, capable, very focused, driven. You know what you want. I also see you as creative. You may have that in common with this person. Ooh, I love this so much. This couldn't be any more positive. The only little glitch is right here. But I feel it's, some, it's temporary. It can be overcome with hard work, okay? Someone is coming in. It has to do with someone putting in the effort, see? Overcoming challenges and obstacles. Now, tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this is someone who's been taking their time, a little apprehensive, but they're slow and steady wins the race. See, someone's working. Someone's working on something, building. I mean, it could be just a house or a home. Somebody could be clearing things out, moving, relocating. Okay, they, you may, you're going to get a communication. Yeah, there it is. See, this is 
Well, there it is. This is an energy of someone sensitive and open-hearted. Um, it's also an energy regarding a relationship or a new emotional experience, a romantic encounter, social invitations. So a really nice energy. It's someone here a little apprehensive, but they're going to reach out. See, you can see the apprehension. They're curious. They're just kind of learning something here. It's often a person just kind of scoping someone out. So, yeah. But others of you, I feel like you actually have someone taking the lead. Okay. So I do see some kind of an invitation of some kind. You could be the one feeling apprehensive. Okay. So, yeah. No, you got a leader. There it is. This person's a natural born leader. They're just coming in. They're just, I feel there's something they want to know. They're learning. We got the king and queen of wands. It'll be different likely for each of you. Yeah, there's that curious person. See, this is the transformation. See, this is an energy of the butterflies. Someone's getting those butterflies. They're sensitive. It's a person who, you know, is kind of macho and you know, a little, you know, blunt. They speak, you know, pretty bluntly, but they got the butterflies in their stomach. So it feels almost like a close encounter with someone for a lot of you. Others of you, it's just this communication coming in out of the blue. Okay, yeah, and it could be something that, you know, uh, is some kind of a relief here, especially if you've been working really hard, okay, feeling like you're not getting anywhere, there's been nothing but obstacles, challenges, things getting in the way, well, that's all about to be lifted, yeah, see, oh yeah, you got a crush, someone crushing here, <laughs> this is a person, now this is interesting, it's, it's a common energy, with the masculine is for someone to show you they like you by doing nice things okay it's a person who's often you know i see someone sensitive who's quite sentimental now some of you there could be i gotta be honest because i do see someone missing somebody they could be at a distance they may be wanting to just come and see you and have a visit but i feel this is gonna lead further here so I just feel it, this energy of being rejuvenated more than anything because it's not really, this isn't really a reconciliation card. It could be for a few people, but it's really about gaining clarity on your life purpose. So it's really about someone feeling renewed, being ready for something new. So that's why I feel some of you are moving away. You're now ready for something new, you see? Or it's the person around you. So, but I definitely see something making you emotional. <laughs> and I like that this is here because it, it's what connects the looking on the past with kindness, compassion. You see, whatever it is you're leaving behind, it's all good. You're letting it go. So, yeah, some of you could be single parents too. Okay. So, but there's definitely a person who's curious. And it's someone who's got butterflies in their stomach here. You see? <laughs> That's I love that card with the butterflies because that is really the energy of the page of swords when there's positive energy around it. It's someone who's blunt, you know. There is person just being careful how they communicate. See, they're just choosing their words wisely. They're gonna say something sweet, do something nice for you to show you they like you. So yeah, I feel this is a situation that can be successful. Okay, and I actually feel like they are too, or the two of you are going to come together and be successful together. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Let's have one on the, actually, let me grab the other deck. It's smaller. This other one's hard to shuffle. Let's have a look at success and growth. Yeah, there it is. Friends and family, maybe even a new community. Some, there's a reason to celebrate new, positive news coming in. Okay. We're celebrating. You could be someplace with a with a child, okay? And this person comes in. It could be somebody who that wants children and family. Very curious. Okay, it's a person who likes to learn. They like to know, and that's what I feel like they're doing. You see, someone who wants to get to know somebody more. This is where two people form some kind of a bond here. Yeah, you know, I like the I like the fact that the three of cups is here at the end. I mean, this is beautiful. Look at this beautiful success and growth, uh, family and friends, new community, new family and friends too. Because this is where the new starts. Once you move away, see someone releasing baggage or just letting things go. Often it's energy of someone traveling light too, only taking what they need. <laughs> Could be a new person in your community. Yeah. 
I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm a little worried about bringing out another card. I don't want to ruin it. It's so nice, but I, oh, I know I have to. As soon as I start thinking that way, I know. i got to be true to the reading. Let's pull out one more. First, I'm going to pull one out on the six of cups. Yeah, I'll see. Emotional fulfillment, happiness. Yeah, this could be a wedding, a celebration. If you're going to a party, a celebration, or a large gathering, you could meet this person who's curious too. So whatever it is, this path you're on, if it's traveling or going, I see you focused on something, okay? You know what you want with this energy, say? You know what you want here. So, yeah. Let's have a look at the Three of Cups. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there could be children involved, someone with a child. Now, this could be someone who's a little younger than yourself, but it's an energy of someone playful, youthful, okay? Uh, definitely a person who, um, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's a person who doesn't stick around. Here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, no, I feel like it's got to be careful with that energy. Let's pull one more out because I really have a hard time believe, believe in that. No, this has to do with faith. Um, two people being on the same page. Uh, you've got a, you've got that choice here. See there and here. So this is where I feel like you're letting go, uh, moving forward. But like I say, you're letting go and things are coming in. So there's multiple opportunities. I see the energy of three. So there could be a couple people interested in you. Now, this Prince of Cups or Prince of Wands is often a younger person, youthful, playful, sometimes flirty, could be a child. Like I say, it could be you could connect through children with that energy. Okay, but um, some of you definitely there could be someone here where it doesn't go anywhere, but yet there's positive. So I don't really feel like this is someone who's not sticking around. I mean, it's hard to say you never know where something goes here. Okay, now, it's definitely somebody playful, youthful, flirty. Um, and I do see an energy of tradition, habit, the way someone conducts themselves. Okay, so it has to do with someone's morals and values. There's a need to cooperate and compromise. It is, I feel like you have something in common. Like I, I mean, it could be you know, the common energy is often creativity. Okay. Or it could be that if there's children involved, they could have something in common. There's something common there. But it's an energy of two people who complement each other as well. So, yeah, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Single parent sometimes. It's also a lot of focus on money being grounded. See, it's right here to here. So I, I, I feel a lot of this is money, finances too, okay? So something to do with your money and finances that's really, really positive. Tell me more about this prince of of wands who is this person judgment some kind of judgment somebody making some kind of a decision okay it looks like you're going to make a decision here yeah you could have somebody coming in who's looking for a reconciliation but you've got a leader you actually have someone who's a leader mature so I, the only reason why that's coming out because there isn't another card um but I still want to make sure, I like to double check because I want to make sure if there's something negative you need to know. I knew I should have just left it. <laughs> it didn't feel right. Honestly, it just didn't feel right. And I have to be true to the reading. I have to, it tells me, keep going, then I'm going to keep going. You know, it's definitely an energy of three, someone in the social circle. I mean, it could be an energy of two's company, three's a crowd. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Yeah. There's something to do with the judgment and a decision, some kind of decision to do with uh, contract, negotiation, morals, values, or the way someone conducts themselves. Maybe the way somebody's behaving publicly. Okay. So whatever's going to connect you with this person, it could be if you are traveling or going someplace or you have an invitation, like I say, it could have something to do with a younger person. But generally, it's just someone charming, enthusiastic. There's some kind of good news, some kind of good news that's going to reflect how you make a decision, okay? So, yeah. 
I mean, it could be just something that makes you feel enthusiastic, but we have the King and Queen of Wands. We have two uh, mature people with a lot of fire. Now, the Queen of Pentacles could actually be another person, but I feel it has to, it really has to do with this change, monetary growth, financial growth, moving and possibly relocating. I mean, it could be it literally be a child. Some of you could have a child moving back home or telling you that they're moving on and moving out, going to school. Okay, so there could be something there too. Yeah, well, it's news worth celebrating. You know, it doesn't, I mean, it's not graduation season, at least here in the Northern Hemisphere, but it could be because there is a large gathering. It's happy. It's emotion fulfilling. Okay, I see. I mean, you could just reconnect with someone here, but I'm not really, I'm not really seeing this person being somebody that you would reconnect with, not with this Queen of Pentacles energy and not when this King of Wands is up here. So I have to feel some of you, it's a message for some of you to do with some kind of contract, news of a contract, negotiation. Oh, somebody could be getting engaged. Uh, you could be traveling and going. It's a, this is a generally a, you know, not a, always a family event. Sometimes it's festivals, but it's wedding celebration. And this being here, it looks like there's some kind of celebration. There's news worth celebrating. And it's coming from this page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, maybe Scorpio transition is here. Somebody with Scorpio, some kind of celebration. Yeah, there's some kind of some kind of plan here. I mean, it could be a going away party for someone who's going off to school. But some kind of contract negotiation or agreement. So it's an energy of two people having to be on the same page here. Yeah, well, there could be some obstacles to do with that. Some kind of challenges. Yeah, see, I guess and see travel and movement. Well, this could be something to do with, oh, I see what this is. It's a gift. Somebody's getting a gift and maybe a new car for somebody younger. There's some kind of planning and preparing ahead. Hmm. Yeah, I see justice being served. Something's fair. See, even for some of you, it's news of an engagement or a wedding. So there you go. Yeah, it looks like it. that's why this came out, because I did get the vibe there. But often this card is just a person going down this path. But see, it's something youthful, someone going off to school. Um, I mean, some places it could be graduation or it's just an energy of planning well ahead. Because we know the Queen of Pentacles likes to plan ahead, especially financially. So... Yeah, it's justice is this is an energy of fair balance, marriage, commitment, something just right. Could be a, like I say, a gift of a car, uh, or gift of education. Someone paying for their education. Let's see who the Queen of Pentacles is, because someone's feeling emotional here. <laughs> Are you going somewhere and you're going to connect to someone who's curious about you? Yeah. Let's have a look at wisdom, yeah. Being wise, trusting your inner knowing. You already know everything you need to know, okay? So there's some kind of secret. I feel it's going to be a secret surprise party celebration for someone. Right, Saj? Yeah, trust your intuition. You probably know everything you already need to know. You know it's an energy of being comfortable. So it's an energy of being comfortable with something. Could be making someone feel comfortable too. Yeah, there it is. There's that wand, something you're really passionate about, but it's also connected to this king of wands. This is someone definitely motivated, very ambitious. So there's something being planned. Now, it could be just a trip, taking a vacation, you know, going someplace. But it's all so, so positive. Just a little glitch here with some obstacles in the way. Some kind of challenges, something emotional, maybe a little bit of drama. <laughs> Okay, I, it could have to do with this, but you know, this person's a leader. They take action. This is something worth going after, worth fighting for, you see. Now, there could be some kind of competition. But in that case, I would have to say it's this younger person. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just some fantasizing here. Let's have a look at the seven. Yeah, so we have the Queen of Swords. Now the Queens are all coming out. 
you know, speaking truth. Some of you are definitely cutting someone out speaking the truth. Or you're just asking a lot of questions. You're being discerning, being wise, trusting your inner knowing. You already know. It has to do with you know, baggage, burdens being lifted. So if there's been something bothering you, I feel like you're just going to let it go. If you have Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in your chart, I feel like you're, especially Aquarius, you're going to let something go. So something new can begin. See, but there's something new. Like I say, there could be a gift of a, a, a car. Okay. Yeah, now we have the King of Swords. See, two people thinking together, seeing eye to eye, thinking the same thing. So what a lovely energy. I, I have never seen a reading so positive uh, for you guys for a while here. So, But whatever this is, whatever this path, and if it is a young person, a gift, a party, a celebration, news of a wedding, whatever it is, okay, if you are going to this or you're getting an invitation or someone invites you, this is where you're going to connect with, I feel this other person, okay? But I see two people being very wise, and it does look like two people who are smart, very clever, okay? So it's an energy of, I feel, um, collaborating on something here, okay? Some kind of collaboration. Yes, plans being made. It's releasing the burdens. It's an energy of uh, somebody getting something off their chest. But it feels positive, though. Yeah. Yeah, so there's the dating and courting card. Yeah, and something new. There's a couple new things going on. Some of you, oh, yeah, we could have someone just announcing that they're dating somebody or have a crush on someone. Okay. Somebody, if it's not yourself and this other person moving in together or moving, it could be this other, this younger person. There's definitely this feeling of this younger person now. It's really coming through. So there's the new. So there's a couple new things going on. There's just a lot of happiness. There's nothing really negative. See, the sun is shining. Things are very clear. There's definitely this reason. to. Well, I just see a lot of joy and happiness. So if you are going to a celebration, a wedding, um, seeing somebody off who's going off to school or moving out on their own. Uh, I feel there's going to be some kind of gift. Okay, something really special that's being planned and prepared. I feel like you are, go you know, and you're going to this, I feel. And that's where I feel like you're going to meet this person. And you're going to start something with this person. In fact, they could be the one inviting you. Could be their child, okay? So... Yeah, there's definitely, yeah, you got an emperor here. It's also an energy of someone who's successful, some kind of truth about someone being successful. Very determined person, very logical, king of swords. See, someone making themselves very clear, communicating clearly. So this person's keeping a secret. I don't think they're telling anybody. And it's going to be revealed, but it's very, very positive. So that's such a beautiful energy. So it does look like this person could be an Aries. There's definitely some Taurus energy here. So Aries, Taurus, Cusp. I also see the Queen of Pentacles, which is possibly um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So yeah, and then we have the King of Pentacles has come out. Yeah, there's a situation coming to fruition with you and another person here. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. I think I've dragged it on long enough to pull out the energy. So it has to do with financial stability. This is two people going to partner up, but it's going to start have start during some kind of celebration okay yeah i definitely see a lot of happiness here this news is going to bring you a lot of happiness as well so take care and we'll see you soon